Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Mechanic with Wings. And today we are going to be talking about how auto shops scam you. So to begin with, we're going to start with shop prices. Uh, so with the labor. Alright, so for this imaginary shop, we'll be saying that labor is $200 an hour. And for parts, it's going to equal what the cost of the part is, which means how much I actually, you know, paid for it as the shop owner. And we're going to multiply it by 1.7 so we can get 70% profit. And for tax, we'll go with 7%. And we'll be going off of this. All right, so for labor times, which is how mechanics are able to estimate how much to charge you to do a service on your vehicle, we're going to say an oil change is about half an hour. Um, we'll do an air filter at 0.2 hours. Cabin air filter, they're kind of tricky to get to sometimes, so we'll go with 0.5 hours. And the tire rotation, usually, most of the time, uh, independent shops and dealerships mostly put it at 0.2 hours, so we'll put 0.2 and an alignment varies from very from you know everywhere so i'll just say 0.75 for you know why not all right now to continue on we're going to be doing parts prices and remember that for customers the price of parts is going to be cost times 1.7 and that's also called the list so cost times 1.7 equals list so, you know five dollars but you know we'll just say for whatever ten dollars here list on that we'll put seventeen dollars air filter and cabin air filter are right about the same they're right around twenty five dollars twenty dollars whatever we'll go with twenty five and list is of forty two dollars and fifty cents so this column right here is going to be our cost and this column is our list this is what we have to pay for the parts in order to get them and this is what we charge the customer you know because we have to pay for overhead all right so let's start with a scenario where a customer comes in and they only want an oil change so uh, oil change let's see we'll start off with an oil filter uh, their cost on it is going to be $25 and uh, we're also going to have to charge oil and it comes out to about five quarts so we'll multiply this 17 by 5 and the labor on the oil change is $200 times 0.5 so now let's do the math on all of this parts comes out to 110 dollars labor comes out to 100 dollars even so then we also have to add in tax here in the state of california you only tax the parts labor is not taxed at all so make sure you follow the taxing laws dependent on whichever state you're in if it matters whatsoever to you uh i'm, I'm just you know using it here for this so that'll be seven seventy, and the total comes out to two hundred and seventeen dollars and seventy cents, which makes this parts profit fifty two dollars. Okay, now let's say a different customer comes in and they want a different service. They still want oil change, but they also want their air filter and cabin air filter changed. So we'll go back to how we laid out the other one before. Oil filter is twenty five dollars, and use one of those. And then the oil itself would be $17 times 5 quarts. An air filter will be $42.50. And, and we will also have to charge labor for that. Okay, so the air filter is $42.50. And use one of those. The labor on it would be $200 times a 0.2. Cabin air filter is going to be $42.50 times 1. And also an air filter would be $42.50. Cabin air filter is about the same at $42.50. We'll use one of each of those. And for the labor for the air filter, it's going to be $200 times 0.2. And for the cabin air filter, it will be $200 times 0.5. All right, so I ran out of room on this board. So I'm going to write the subtotals, tax, and total on a clean board, which is not this one that I just cleaned. All right, so on this one, the parts is $195. Labor is $240. Tax will be $1,365, which makes the total $448.65.
and the parts profit for this customer was $70. All right, now let's do some more expensive repairs. Now this is where they really get you. All right, so the service that we're gonna be performing on our next vehicle would be in alignment. All right, now for an alignment, it would just be the labor, so it'd be $200 times 0.75, and there'd be no tax, so the grand total would just be $150. All right, how about you come into the shop and you need an alignment, but the tech finds that you have worn tie rod ends, you know, let's say inner and outer, so you need to replace, you know, all four of them. Now, let's say that the tires were wearing unevenly, so we're also going to add a, a tire rotation that way we could at least put the rear ones in the back and the more even tires in the front. All right, so we're going to write this down for an alignment. It's going to be $200 times 0.75. And we're going to put rotate tires, which is going to be 200 times 0.2. And for the tie rod ends, I'm just going to say that how about each one, the inner and outer tie rod ends, each one costs about $50 each. We'll mark it up to $85. So we have $85 times four. And the labor for remove and replace the tie rod ends, we'll just say it's going to be 1.7 hours. So we'll do 200 times 1.7. So if we add all of this up for parts, we get $340. Labor, we get $530. On tax for the parts, we get $23.80, which makes a grand total of $893.80. All right, so this is where the mechanics can easily scam you. See this right here? We're going to get rid of this. And we're going to make this a 0.5. We just run it up to a half an hour more. All right. See this 1.7. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to make it 2.0. All right. So now these numbers are vastly different. All right. So our labor is going to change from 530 to $650. And with the new labor change, that makes our new total $1,013.80. And this is how they get you. All right. So you might be wondering, why is labor on this one? $893.80 and this one is $1,013.80. Well, that's easy. That's because this shop up here charges by tenths and this one down here charges by halves. Now, it might not make much importance if your technician charges by tenths or halves. However, when you start adding in multiple amounts of services all at once or, you know, throughout the years, it starts adding up. So, Ask your mechanic if they charge by tenths or halves, and this will save you thousands. All right, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Uh, this this is the best I could do with what I had, so I'm I'm just gonna keep keep on doing this. All right, hope you guys have a nice one. Thanks for watching again.